Hi, my name's Vanessa. Now I've just opened EQ Stitch and I'm going to go open existing project because I already have one in there to save time. And I'll just click on that and click OK. Now I'm going to go to Libraries, Block Library, and I'm going to go down to my Quilt Maker Volume 3 and select Flower. I'm going to select that one and say add to sketchbook. Now I've already got it there so it's going to say you've already got it there. So I'll just click OK. If I wanted to pick another one, say I wanted to pick uh, this one, I'd say add to sketchbook and then I close. Then if I go up here and open the sketchbook and go to my stencils, you can see all the stencils that I've got on my workspace. So I'm going to select that one, double click and that brings it on to my block workspace. Now by clicking away from that and go edit, select all, then I'm going to go edit, copy, open EQ Stitch so I can work on stitching and I'm going to go edit, paste and I've pasted that into my work area and that shows under artwork so I'm just going to go to stitch. Not looking really good so on this side I'm going to change that, those stitches to a running stitch and then I can actually change these by quickly clicking on them. As you can see each um, part is a separate piece. That's obviously how Quiltmaker likes to do their stuff. Now I'm going to change the thread colour and I want to change my middle part of my tulips to a pink colour and then I'm going to change the outer part of the tulip to a darker colour and my leaves to a green. Don't worry about that big, it will appear. So now I can go up to the um, top here and add it to my library, into my sketchbook. And if you press on the sketchbook and go down to embellishments, you can see the one that I've just done up the top here. And I'm going to click close. Then I'm going to go to stitching and export stitching file. And I'm going to call that, if I can find it quickly, tulip3 and click save. It tells me I've got one. I'm just going to reply yes. Yes, I want to thread sort. Yes again and click OK. That's a quick lesson. I'll be back again shortly.